purpose of this would be immediately following the storm, you're able to, to, to make it airborne, get it over the lines and see how extensive the damage is. And perhaps even if the damage isn't that extensive, minor re restoration efforts may be able to restore power to our customers much sooner. These newer models can be airborne for about 15 minutes or so is what they tell me, right? So 15 minutes of flight time is, is not a long time. So, you know, as the technology evolves, as you can see, um, it's, it's very small, it's, it's great, it's neat. It's the battery pack is right here. So it's not a huge battery pack. Camera lives underneath, as you saw on some of the hobby footage that, you know, you can zoom in, you can really get close to it. Uh, this is our restoration spatial view here. Uh, it's one of the newer technologies that we have access to. This allows us to, from the field, see where our crews are, see where our trouble tickets are, see where our facilities, and be able to communicate with our meters. All of our crews are outfitted with mobile devices that enable them to communicate with our meters so that we're able to see where they are. Our damage assessment tool now allows our patrollers to go out with a mobile device or a tablet and click, 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 enter exactly where the damage is and the back office will have access to that in data. So in this, we'll, we're seeing where pole damages, we're seeing where tree damages, where possible flooding, and that's being provided by the users. So that's kind of the level of detail that we have access to.